As I find myself on vacation, there's nothing else I'd rather do than just sit back and relax. Hey everyone, so what was supposed to be a very relaxing vacation actually turned out to be anything but that. It all started on our first day in Las Vegas. We had found a tour of the old Egan and Co. meatpacking factory and the tickets were discounted to $40 plus $26 for a merchandise pack. The great-grandson of the original owner took over the building with legends of it being haunted and a dream of making new, amazing barbecue flavors. Apparently in the past, a fire broke out in the abandoned factory and a dead body was recovered. What we did not realize is that this factory is located in Naked City, the most dangerous location in Las Vegas. So much so that taxis won't even go there after dark. So, before our tour could begin, we had to meet with a security guard and sign some paperwork and waivers saying that we understood the dangers of exploring this old factory. We don't mind the lobby. Take as much as you want in the lobby. Once your tour begins, we ask that you keep all your devices put away. You're going on a tour of one of the oldest running meat factories in Las Vegas. Head on in. So, after the paperwork was signed and our phones were turned off, our tour began. They brought us into a small hallway and the door was unlocked so we were able to walk into this room but as we walked into our first room we quickly learned that this factory was no ordinary factory jigsaw actually owned this factory and we needed to escape from seven different rooms. Some of you may have saw the documentary on the Jigsaw Killer. There is actually seven different movies under the name of Saw that documents his killings. And the rooms we were in were all seen in the movies. From the bathroom to a uh, fire, like a burner. We needed somebody to crawl inside that burner and turn on the fire to get us a code to escape the room. We also had points where there were traps that we had to reach our hands in and they would cut our hands off. It's remarkable that I am in perfect condition and did not lose any limbs. So, all joking aside and all story aside, yes, there is seven different rooms to this escape room, making it one of the biggest escape rooms and experiences in the world. And I gotta say, it was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we did have some teenage girls in our group, unfortunately. And they were really, really scared. They expressed they will never do another escape room again. So this, this is definitely 
not for the light of heart. Um, everything. It is sponsored by... Like, it, it's... They put a lot of money into this. Escape room. A lot of money. So, it looks extremely real. And that's something that I found myself battling with when I was in these escape rooms. Talking about that trap where you put your hand in and it cuts it off. That's what happens in the movies. Obviously, that didn't happen here. I'm still in perfect condition. I still have both hands. But it looks so real that sticking my hand in there to pull the levers... My brain and everything was shout at, sh just shouting at me not to do it because it looks real and thus the danger feels real almost. They do a very, very amazing job with that. And there is an actor. They ask you right away how much help you want. Our group went for the medium difficulty and we almost escaped. I honestly say the only reason we didn't is because of those teenage girls. We reached a point where we needed to unlock a safe, and basically that would have been it. We were in the process of unlocking it, but the girls were the ones trying to unlock it, and they were panicking because we were running out of time, and they didn't know how to unlock one of those dial safes. So it we would have got out. I, I honestly think we would have escaped. But we didn't. And that was actually a very satisfying part for me. Because when we didn't, there was a metal door that banged loudly and got thrown open. And in walks a killer, basically. For anyone who has saw, seen the Saw movies, it was a killer in a butcher outfit and a pig mask. And he had a wand taser and he kept activating it so it would make like a tasing buzzing sound and he would just walk up to you and the girls they went screaming and they ran down the hallway never to be seen again they booked it out of that and it's just the actors are phenomenal they don't touch you so it's not like a haunted house where there's someone waiting to jump out at you but um there is sound effects that are going to make you jump there's lighting effects that are going to make you jump and like i said the stuff seems so real that there was parts where you had to put your hand down down a sink down like a garbage disposal and the sound kicks on like it's actually like there is actually a garbage disposal and it makes you jump and it it was just an absolutely amazing experience as I mentioned towards the beginning of the video, um, I bought the merchandise pack for $26 ahead of time. That included a hat and my t-shirt, live or die, make your choice. And basically, it does include a hat or a t-shirt from either the Blair Witch or the Saw, basically anything in their escape room. And I, I paid for that ahead of time because these shirts are like 20 something dollars. So if you know that you're going to be buying merch, it's absolutely worth buying ahead of time. I also do have a pin that says I survived his game. I got that by just leaving a Google review for them and showing them that. And all those photos, those are absolutely free. There's a green screen there and you get to put a backdrop of your choice behind there and you can take as many photos as you want. So. It really, really is a great experience. I highly recommend it if you are visiting Las Vegas. The original price is $60, but it seems like they're always giving some kind of discounts out. And quite honestly, even at $60, I would do it because seven rooms, you get eight to ten minutes per room to escape type of deal. It just really, really, really is a cool experience, especially if you're someone who loves the Saw movies. Um, I watched them all before we did go to Vegas, so they were fresh on my mind, and it was just a phenomenal overall experience. So that is my first day on vacation. 
it was anything but relaxing. So, I cannot wait to share with you guys my sky jump from the top of the stratosphere, jumping off of that 108th floor. I can't wait to share that with you guys. Share a video on our haunted hotel, the haunted museum. I got so much great stories to share with you guys and great experiences, my hike. So, until next time, guys, stay safe, and I will see you all on the next adventure.